Hello! Today we're going to show you how to use clear lag on your Minehutch server. It's gone! Right. Hey guys, so down below you can see uh, in the, the text lines, clear lag, remove 36 entities. This is a really, yeah, this is a really cool thing to use if you have like a a large server where people are constantly throwing stuff around on the ground and every single person throwing stuff on the ground creates a lot of lag if it all accumulates so it's nice like every like 60 seconds every two minutes every five minutes depending on how you need to do it to have <laughs> just to have it clear the lag on the ground and it gives you a warning it tells you when things are going to be deleted so if someone has thrown their their netherite fully enchanted sword on the ground and it says clear lag in 60 seconds they're like oh i gotta pick that up really quickly oh, but no. um oh no sorry i'm just leaving oh, a few things over here yeah oh no trent it would be a shame if of the lag entities on the ground were suddenly cleared w wouldn't it oh no my oh. items oh no <laughs> my bad so you're telling me that you you could do it manually right where you can physically type in a command and clear all the entities or you could set it on a timer correct yes and to set the timer to whatever you want, you just go into the config file and under auto removal, you can change the message. You can change how often it clears, all that good stuff. Right on. Does that answer your question, Michael? Yes. Yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Say someone on your server got a little too crazy with the panda breeding. Oh my God. Did it get too, is that too many pandas? Uh, uh, in my field, yeah, might be a little too many pandas. Well, okay. all you gotta do <laughs> is type in the dandy dandy command L A G G kill mobs, and it's all clean. Look at that! <laughs> but you might notice that all these horses, which are tamed, did not get cleared because they're not mobs now, they're tamed animals. So if they have oh. tamed wolves or tamed cats or tamed horses, those will not be cleared by it. So I'm going to spawn a couple more animals. Let's say, uh, parrots. <laughs> I'm going to spawn some cute. parrots over here. Spawn some parrots over here. All right. So say we want to keep this animal sanctuary clear. But you know what? There's a few too many animals over here. Let's, uh, you, you can do a radius just to get rid of all the animals over here. Okay. So let's do lag area radius of maybe let's just do 20 blocks for now. That just cleared ah. all the ones around me. All right, I'm ready. Okay, all right. <laughs> Another thing you can do to check the the health and lag of your server is do lag memory. This will give you a really cool map that updates in real time. Uh, the dark green is just the memory that your server uses always, like innately, it's just, it's what's running the world. The light green is what you are currently doing. And once you clear some lag, you'll notice that the light green will decrease. Uh, and it, it resets every like 32 seconds. So you will see once we get to the end, it shall reset and go back. So cool. Well, almost. We're almost there. <laughs> there it goes. It's, there I mean, it goes. it's almost like the same functionality that you'd have on Windows or, or your Mac, where you can yeah, yeah. see a graph of your of your status Pull in real up the time. Task manager, yeah. Exactly, yeah. yeah the task manager, exactly. <laughs> yeah, so that's nice. And that's how you use clear lag on your Minehut server.